On day two of Saints training camp, team leader Demario Davis said he understands the frustration of Saints fans. But he also said the Saints now have all the pieces in place to get back to the playoffs. That is what we want to hear. Yes. Sports director Doug Mouton is in California covering Saints training camp and joining us now live on the campus of UC Irvine. Doug. Yeah, hey, Sharice. Look, the Saints are a veteran team. They understand the position that they're in right now. Under Sean Payton, over a 15-year span, the Saints went to the playoffs nine times, but it's now been three seasons since they've been back to the playoffs, and the veterans on this team absolutely get that, and they have not been shy about addressing that so far in training camp. Now, of course, the biggest change on the team this coming up this season is new offensive coordinator Clint Kubiak. But across the board, the Saints say the level of accountability has changed. And Demario Davis had an emphatic message today for people doubting what this team can accomplish. I think that's what may be the elephant in the room. You know, we have we have underperformed. You know, it's like I think that the message I would give to our fan base is we know we haven't been good enough. We haven't put something on the field that, that the city should be proud of. And that's why we're here locked in and we're working. What I need the city to understand is we got the right coaches. We got the right pieces. We got the right offense. We got the right quarterback. We got the right defense. And it's on us to go out and execute. We, we have underperformed, all of us, the entire organization. We haven't done what we're supposed to do. But that's why we locked in and we're putting the work in so that the results can show. Yeah, nobody delivers a message more effectively than Demario Davis. And Davis and the linebackers really look like one of the strengths of the Saints team heading into this season. More on that coming up at 6. And ahead in sports, how the new offense benefits wide receiver Chris Alave. Ricardo has that story coming up in sports. For now, reporting live on the campus of UC Irvine, Doug Mouton, WWL Louisiana. All right.